Hey, what's up? Welcome to Tales from the Trash Can. I'm Sid's Light, and today we are talking about the movie Follow. I found it as a suggested because I might like it off another movie I watched and saved it, watched it, and it was okay. It was a unique approach. It's basically a vlogger going to a horribly haunted place with a few real world tie ins uh, as reference, basically. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, the plot of the movie. This guy, Drop the Mic, is a vlogger who has an offer that if he can get 50k new subscribers, he'll get $250,000. So his plan is to go to the infamous hotel, Lennox Hotel as it's called, in downtown Los Angeles, I believe. Um, but yeah, downtown Los Angeles, I think, the Lennox Hotel. And it, it alludes to real world events enough that it's it's hinting at where this really could be. Um, one of them being the uh, character in the movie was called Megan Kim but it's a reference to Elisa Lim? Elisa Lim? Something along those lines. Uh, the girl who's acting erratically on an elevator and then disappeared was uh, later found dead. Uh, there's a reference to that in the movie. Um, at least it's pretty clearly seems like a reference. They also talk about a killer in the hotel who had been there that it seems like they're trying to reference Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker? Or Nightman? Night something. Night something. But it seemed like that's what they were referencing. Anyways, they, they go to the hotel. They're staying in the room that that serial killer stayed in, all that. Their editor's in the room next door. And the goal is to stay there three days and eventually get into the boiler room if they can and find out all the horrible, dark, evil secrets of the hotel. Of course, naturally, it starts going off the rails relatively quick and the movie's hold through the presence of someone on a computer who's watching through these videos as it goes all the way up to the end of the movie. Um, but yeah, they, they go through the different days trying to get in the thing, contacting a uh, psychic who had its own feelings about the building, uncovering mysteries of what had happened in the past, and eventually a... I guess it's intended to be a big plot twist near the end, but it didn't really feel like it was that big of a twist. It was like, okay, that... alright, whatever then. Um, overall, it, it was decent as far as plot goes. It wasn't anything to write home about, but it wasn't bad. As for the cast, I didn't recognize anybody, but they were all fine. No, no one was bad. They were all decent at their roles. Um, yeah, the, the acting was fine. The effects-wise, uh, there were a few pretty cool effects. Um, they did one that wasn't really like anything crazy technical-wise, but they had someone's neck like bent backwards, and it, 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 it the sound effect added with it, it was pretty good. Um, there were a few other tiny moments like that. I didn't feel like it was that gory, but I did say the effects that they, I mean, I will say, the effects that they did use all seemed great. I I enjoyed that aspect of the movie. It was quality on that front. And then, uh, overall, overall, I'm going to honestly, I'm going to give the movie a, I'm, I'm going to give it a 3. I was torn between a 3 and 3.5, but I'm going to give it 3 spells, because I didn't personally think it was very scary. I, at no point, was scared. I don't think I even remember jumping during it, but I, I was entertained. It was an entertaining horror genre movie with a somewhat original take and approach. It's lessened how original take and approach it is by the fact that I've seen so many horror movies, and I've seen very similar ideas executed um, and done much better in other places. Like, gone, if you want to watch a movie about a influencer going into a horribly haunted place that don't mind subtitles, I would watch Gone GM, Haunted Asylum, over this. But this movie itself wasn't bad. It was an enjoyable movie. Three Skulls isn't bad by any mark. It was an enjoyable movie. I liked it. Would I watch it again? Probably not. But let me know in the comments what you thought of the movie, or if there's a movie you'd like for me to check out and review. I will see you all next time. Thank you, and goodbye. Peace out, everybody.